I recall reading the Diary of Wimpy Kid books back in my child and teenager years, and chances are, you did too. The success of the books spawned some theatrical live-action movies and one Disney Plus animated film with more like it coming, as I have heard. What I'll do in the meantime is rank all the motion pictures made so far and sort them from weakest to strongest. Whether the stories are actually journals or not, a spoiler alert is needed before digging into tight territory. As long as you're ready, you won't be considered a wimp since I am starting to sweet. Hey, I'm Owen, the fiction fanboy, and here's my top 5 Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Lawn Hall Susan plans on having a road trip to celebrate her grandma's 90th birthday as a way for family quality bonding, yet everyone else in the family had other plans and complications. Greg wants to get rid of his diaper hand status by attending the Player Expo, Frank has his work calls, Manny loves his piglet he won at a contest, and Mr. Beardo is the closest thing we get to an antagonist. Oh man, was this a train wreck or what? I wish the new cast was the only problem within the film. Sadly, there were scenes that were just unappealing to look at, and you may not laugh even once. The sole redeeming quality here is the importance of having time with your family. Then again, I tell you to see the ending on YouTube, and that's it. If I wanted a marathon of disasters, I'd rather watch Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Diary of a Wimpy Kid 2010 Middle school has started for Greg as he seeks fame, in both school and the future. A moldy slice of cheese is discovered and whomever sets fingers on it gains the cheese touch, a virus making you an outcast. Life in the grade was tough in classes, lunch, clubs, and friend rally ended up getting popular after Greg had got his arm broken in an accident because of a game. While not necessarily an inadequate story, the main gripe here is Greg isn't really so likable, and even Rally would agree with that as he even said Greg was a bad friend. Also, the other characters aren't really any better, and contrary to the other installments in the live action franchise, no big bond can be seen, and Greg doesn't make things right with Rally until the last act. It was an alright thing to sit through, but I have seen a fair amount of far superior book-based flicks. Diary of a Wimpy Kid 2021 This may feel like a reboot of the original live-action movie, though that doesn't exactly make it deja vu, as there are plenty of changes in the animated retelling to make it distinct. The cheese touches there, Greg urges Rally to act more mature and less childish, and you already know about the injury which made it feel like destiny and how Rally has received even more recognition than Greg. Unlike the previous entry, Greg actually had some concern for the wound, yet also dissimilar to the first film, with not even a one hour time frame to work with, there isn't enough of the characters, having very little room for world building. Think of the difficulty in translating a Dr. Seuss tale to Hollywood, except it's the opposite. I wouldn't blame you if you interchanged this movie with the other one, depending on what sacrifices you're cool with making. At least the top two spots don't have as many flaws. Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days Summer has begun, and instead of spending his whole vacation gaming, Greg has to do what his parents had in mind, like Susan having started a Reading is Fun Club, and if this seems like a slog, that's nothing compared to Frank's idea of chilling out as both fishing and Civil War reenacting didn't work out. When invited to the local country club, Greg fibbed about getting a job there so he can have the delights he desires. I was actually a bit intrigued with this one, and viewing what's happening makes me hope the season can be like this. The main highlight, however, is Greg improving on his relationship with Frank, as they couldn't exactly see eye to eye, aside from little cutie being trash, 
and this is especially true upon camping and discovering how the rivals have been faking their survival skills. As big of a bark I did get from what was witnessed, surely y'all know one is superior to the others. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules It's a bothersome brotherhood going on between Greg and Roderick as they are getting on each other's nerves. And this was definitely hard for Susan as she's a writer for the newspaper who has articles about the two people becoming men. A mom buck system is used as a plausible way for the two to hang out more often. And instead of learning from their mistakes at a church incident, Roderick threw a party, disobeying his parents. With Greg's microscopic amount of help, and on the sidelines, Greg is trying to impress new girl Holly, hoping to form an item. My expectations weren't so high, and although I wouldn't call this a classic or anything, it actually did justice to the predecessor. Seeing Greg and Roger get along, albeit having to deny the truth, was quite wholesome. When the beans were eventually spilled, having them return to their ways of rivalry wasn't so sweet. Yet Greg willing to be in Rally's magic performance so Roger could play with his band was. Yeah, the dancing mama cracked me up just as much as the crowd. In terms of recommendations, don't care that much as long as you avoid the dreaded final live action movie, as the others were actually satisfactory. Want the fiction to spread? Then please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications. Don't forget to also comment below and follow me on Instagram for teasers and thumbnail previews of future YouTube videos. Thanks for watching, look forward to seeing you again, and have a good night-o!